Do you remember what it was like to have energy? Here's what it's like. I'm gonna jump! <laughs> yeah. Good Saturday morning to you. Oh, uh, what a beautiful day. It's kind of overcast, but it's cool. It doesn't feel warm, so that would be cool. Coming here to the office for the interweb, and then I'm going to find rope because I, I think I've decided to cut the tree. Video is done. Yay! Now it's time to... Our internet up here is getting awfully slow. It took... Uh, 45 minutes to upload that video, which it normally doesn't seem to take that long. But maybe it does, I don't know. Um, going to try to find some rope so I can tie off this tree. Uh, it's Easter Eve, and I was just thinking about that um, while I was sitting there at my desk. What would it have been like to be alive in biblical days? And it's like you were hanging out and you were just a face in the crowd. You saw Jesus uh, on a daily basis, maybe. And just like you were just a kid that was hanging out, walking through the community. I don't know. And you just saw Jesus and then. Um, you saw him when he was walking to Calvary, and you saw him when he was crucified. And you've been hearing stories about him, and just, you know, like for three years, you had, uh, for three years, you have been kind of following him, watching him. Like if it was a social media, you would have him liked or friended or whatever. And then all of a sudden, he's gone. You know, every day you went to see what he did, and then he was gone. And all the things that people said about him um, you just you had to wonder if it was real because if he is truly the son of God how could he be dead and of course the rest of the story is the next morning he got up <laughs> and I just mm, he got up 100 feet of rope. I, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna do it today. If I could just get that rope up in that tree. I can't throw anymore, man. After 5,000 years of playing sports and lifting weights, my shoulders are rotten, so I can't throw. And Barrett couldn't throw it that high. And no way Jess could throw it that high. So I got, I'll figure it out. Mom, the rope is pulled a certain way where if it falls, it's going to fall over that way. Holy crap! Awesome! <laughs> yes! That was awesome! Yes! yes. When I was younger, to feel macho, I would play football, tackle folks, lift weights really heavy. Um, I can't play football anymore because my body's broke and I'm 45. Uh, I can't lift weights anymore because my body's broke and I'm 45. So I look for things to, to give me a kind of a rush and it's not like a, I don't know how to explain it, but I just, I need a little charge every once in a while. And cutting that tree down, that, that gave me a rush.
and I, it's silly. Um, and if I was in New York City, I don't know, I, I would never be able to do that, but I feel pretty good about it. Um, the true log people would probably make fun of me for tying it off and all, but I just, I couldn't risk hitting the house. And that's, that's a pretty good cut. Yeah, boy. So now it's time to start cutting it up and getting it moved. We're going to keep the wood for, you know, it didn't even tear up the ground too bad. We're going to keep all the wood for, uh, like camp out, cook out, hot dog, weenie roast thingies. Um, yeah. I'm going to get my bumper buddy on my Jeep because I'm going to have to haul it around that way. Feel good. It's amazing the things you learn uh, over the years. Daddy showed me how to cut trees. Uh, and then I watched, I watched what's the Axeman, I think. I used to watch it a good bit. So I knew how to cut, but I'm about to do something that Daddy never showed me how to do. I'm gonna put gloves on because my hands are just too delicate now. I used to have macho manly hands. And I've got little bitty nice hands that are soft. I'm pretty ashamed of that. Keep going, give us some gas. Looks like it's getting stuck. I know, what you gotta do, you gotta rev it up higher. You gotta get that tip out of it. All right now, rev it up high. Rev it up and then go into it. Look at that pretty girl down there working. You ain't done yet? <laughs> My wife's a rock star, and my neighbor over there let me borrow a four-wheeler um, and just, we choked the, the logs off and drug them up the hill, and that was a lifesaver. So we got, a, we got the makings for a great bonfire. Me, I'm about to die. I'm so out of shape. Jessica and Bear are still going wide open. There he is. I'm ready when you are, boss. I carried some of the big uh, logs up. Yeah, you did. Take you back. Denied. Same spot. Very good. Very good. Feeling macho? Awesome. You rock. Thank you. This was our tree. Hey, don't sit on them right now. They might be sticky. And those are two little places for us to sit. And I'm going to cut another one out of stuff over there. But that's Jessica and Barrett. Pretty much. Well. I think I carried one armload of stuff and they got the rest of it. And I carried, I think, these three up here. 
Well, maybe. I carried some of them. You carried some of them up here. I carried these up here, but I drugged them with the neighbor's four-wheeler. So, I'm not near as macho as my son and wife. But I am officially paying for it now. My shoulders are hurting very, very bad. But we're going to get stuff to diesterines. We forgot all about dying Esther eggs. Hey, Ziva, you gotta die to Easter eggs. Yeah. So, to Fred's we go. Today's teenager, they y'all missed out. The 80s is when the music was. You really missed out. You're not even a teenager. By 20 years. <laughs> yeah. 25 years. 25 years, okay. In, in the 80s, music was uh, Boston. And if you don't know Boston, I don't think you're an American. You can't, no. You, you got to love Boston. Their music, oh my gosh. And what's crazy is those guys that I listened to growing up, a lot of them have passed away. I guess that means we're getting old, especially you. What are you, 98? 99? 11 teen. He's 11 teen. He's not 11 teen. You're Diaz. Can't fool me. I remember when he was born. He was real small. He was just a baby then. Old neighbor that let me borrow his four-wheeler also drug our road today. He might get neighbor of the year award. I don't do anything for our neighbors. I should step up my game. I should. I don't have a four-wheeler. I could do something for him though. How we get Backyard Explorer of the Year? Backyard Explorer, you get Dead Dog of the Year. See, your mom slows down and I don't. I will run over them. Don't bother me, which I really wouldn't run over them. Trying to get rid of some of the pollen. You probably can't tell how yellow this stuff is. It is nasty. And we've, we've all got stopped up heads and snipples and snots and stuff, so. Yuck. It'll probably be back in the morning, but you know, at least for now, we're getting about it. Dinner time, woman! Get in here, fix my dinner. <laughs> That's funny. I'm completely joking. Has been an awesome Saturday. Uh, really enjoyed today. Um, just being able to conquer something that I was concerned about, but to have the family there working with me and my neighbor offering the four-wheeler, um, it was good. And then Barrett and I got to go into town and we got some stuff to decorate eggs. Uh, tomorrow's going to be different. Uh, it's the first Easter since Justin and I have been married that we've not been to church together. Come here, boy. Help me close this out. Okay. Crawl up here in my lap among us. So, what did you think about today? Was it a good day? It was. What was the best part? Um, working with the chainsaw. Working with the chainsaw. Working with the chainsaw. There's Mama. Come on in, Mom. We're finishing up the video. Do you want to oh. come help us, Mom? I will let y'all finish it up. She's going too, to bed. She's too good for it. I am not. She went to private school. Uh, anyway, so I was telling them that tomorrow's going to be different. It'll be the first Easter we hadn't all gone to church together. But it's okay. Because yep. when I come home, we're going to Easter celebrate water, juice, we and We're going to eat our Easter water. Drink our Easter water. Drink our Easter water. Easter water. Easter Kool-Aid. Easter Kool-Aid. Yeah, you would like Kool-Aid, you Jim Jones follower. Have some Kool-Aid. Let's go to the Congo. <laughs> yes. Your mom's favorite cult leader was... She always talked about Jim Jones. It was just tragic. It was tragic. Anyway, it's time to unwind. Night, day has turned to night. And it's time to... Mm, do a lot less of any, everything. He's got to get in a little bath and jump and shower. But yeah. I've already had a bath. You have to put all the dogs running through the woods, too. So, just a quick one. Cleanliness is next to mom. 
Anyway, love God, love people, be better.